Good morning, you guys. I got a very busy day. A birthday dinner I have to get to. I told you my Tauruses are <laughs> non-stop now, y'all. I just had my Tauruses friend. Um, her birthday party was like yesterday, y'all. So it's been parties and parties after back. And of course, I would be feeling under the weather, right? Of course. Um, my timing is impeccable, y'all, every time. Um, we did that reading, y'all. We did that reading last night, uh, Baby Doe of St. Louis. I got some new information. Solving these cases, I told you, is like putting a puzzle together. And she's being so helpful and so informative, y'all, um, about helping me get these answers out and everything. I was doing some thinking, though, okay? It's kind of like some brainstorming, especially during my sleep. You know, she was showing me things, letting me hear things. I appreciate it, but I do enjoy my sleep, and I tell the spirits that all the time. Um, and yesterday, I felt someone kind of playing with my fingers while I was asleep. <clears throat> it's just, that's what they do, all right? Um, so that she don't get any rest in this world. Y'all know that. You don't get no rest in the next one either. It is what it is. Um, and a lot of people think you do. That's what's funny. Now, um, she gave me a lot of new information. The early 80s, y'all, was a crazy time. It was a crazy time because I feel it was so undetectable. And people was just getting away with stuff, y'all. And doing stuff right under people's noses in daylight. Okay. Um, also, I feel like at that time, it was a time where people definitely targeted children, especially I told you black and minority children. Um, and it was just constant. Something happened to kids. Constant, constant, you know. And it was the time you could go under the radar. It absolutely was. Uh, I want to do a channeling session, a part three. I know you are like, okay, how many parts is going to be? Just like we did the Wayne Williams. This is bigger than just, okay, we did this a couple times. We got it. No, it's bigger, y'all. And again, I don't know who the St. Louis Police Department is covering for, but um, it reeks of um, cover-up big time. Protecting, again, these elites, and I'm so over it, y'all so over it she has shown me some things she has told me some new things that i didn't get to get in part one part two y'all i think we might in part three actually be very very close or actually at the breaking point of this case pretty much the gist of it you know what i mean again i cannot emphasize how important this peer is, I, I cannot emphasize any more than this is the star of the case, the star of the show. This particular body of water, this peer with the boats, there's so much information there. It's so much that has to do with this case, y'all. Okay. Um, And again, I don't feel like she's from St. Louis. Not at all. Not at all. Mm -mm. Um, <clears throat> I want to say something, too. I feel like a lot of these pedophiles, they get particular types of jobs, you guys. <clears throat> the ones who don't have really, really extensive... Excuse me, I told y'all that I was under weather and my voice is terrible. Um actually did get like a little bug okay yesterday at least that's what my doctor told me i have a little bug going on um so anyways the show must continue as you know i could be crawling on the floor and we're still going to do crime tv if y'all will not be judgmental have an open mind and don't come on me too hard 
I would actually crawl on this floor and do a reading, y'all. It does not matter. <clears throat> For these spirits, I would do it. Okay, so where was I at here? Okay, these people get these particular types of jobs. Uh, <clears throat> janitors, uh, librarians, uh, teachers, um, working in the church, being involved in the churches, uh, things like that. Great target areas, y'all. Absolutely perfect areas. All right for these types of sickos to work, to be able to have access to children whenever they feel the need and also to get in their parents' business or their family lives' business. Um, they know who to pick, they know who to target, they know who people are not gonna miss, they know all of that, all right? The smart ones. So I believe, again, this was definitely a crime of opportunity. Um, I definitely, definitely want to do a <clears throat> part three. Sorry, my voice, my voice is going in and out. I did, um, I couldn't go to the actual doctor uh, on a Sunday. So we did like one of those, um, what do you call it? Webby thingies or whatever. And he's like, oh yeah, you're, you're done. <laughs> so it's just the weather. It happens to me in spring and definitely fall. Um, my sinuses, y'all, are just trash. <laughs> they really are. And I battle them every year. Besides that fact, please forgive me. Please forgive. You know, I have issues with that. I really, really do. But I still try to do these readings and help these victims and spirits. And this is well deserving of a part three because there's more information that is very very vital to this case um this case is very solvable i hear it's very very solvable and i don't even feel they're protecting the person who did this i don't i do believe they're protecting what is connected in this case absolutely this person, again, just your average, you know, <clears throat> person who does a little corruption here and there to make the ends meet, you know? But I feel like he's also into hurting children, pedophilia. This is his, his characteristics, okay? He's the con man. He's, uh, you know, he's just a low vibrational person that I pray is 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 no longer here to do this type of stuff. Now, um again, I will be doing uh okay, so here's the thing you guys don't know, I guess, on this channel is there's different ways that I can do readings. Mind you, when you have a true gift, you just use things as a tool. So those cards are just tools for me, y'all, but I can go into a channeling or a meditation session and get stuff that the cards don't even get. I can play this thing out like a movie, y'all. Okay? And I feel like that's what I want to do for part three. We've done the cards. We kind of get a little bit of a uh, compass of where this is going. Okay? But I have some new information to where they just need to cut the games. All right? Um that I got last night and this morning. So we are definitely gonna do a channeling, what I call the meditation or speaking with the spirit um, to actually get information forward. I'm not gonna do a spoiler alert because there's some things we got twice that I'm gonna let y'all know that we got twice that is very, very significant. And I could not piece it. I'm like, what? Why does this one keep coming out? It doesn't make sense. But now, okay, it makes sense. And we're going to have that in part three, okay? I don't know if I'm going to do any parts after that because this is basically like A, B, C, D after part three, y'all. It's it's connected. It's, it's already 
kind of mapped out. All right. You get the gist of the case. You see where it's going, where it was headed, where it's at. And where do you go from there? Well, somebody's got to do something. St. Louis has to get off their tails and quit playing with this case. All right. It's been 40 years. So not only have you risked information and witnesses and evidence, uh, sometimes these cases do get solved 50, 60 years later. It's a fact. It is a fact. But I do feel like they were covering up and protecting somebody or somebody's. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I get so tired of this stuff, y'all, because children are involved. Children. Who wouldn't want to nail somebody out here hurting children? Okay? You just think somebody would be passionate about, oh, we gotta we gotta do something about this. This is just ridiculous. Um But you'd be surprised, y'all, how many people do not care about average minorities and average black people in these cases, you will be floored. Or maybe you wouldn't, because people like me wouldn't. But trust me, this is so common that it's not even funny. We find that out with Wayne Williams, how they feel about all of this, all right? We found out before, cases before, how they feel about it. Um, <clears throat> the system is set up a certain way, y'all, to only care about certain things, certain events. Uh, the police are nothing but people that the government either tells them to step up or step down. It's only two things they can do. And they do what they're told, okay? In a way, you can't throw too many darts at the police. You want to. You want to throw all the darts. You want to say, this is your fault, your negligence, your laziness. You turn in the other cheek, which is a fact. But they have a higher power over them telling them what they can and cannot do. And sometimes their hands are just tied. They can't go beyond that, Okay. Some of them do, though, and they risk their jobs and their lives. They do. Um, but some of them don't. All right? So we are stuck with who's going to do something, right? Who in authority is going to do something about um, these cases and what is happening here? And unfortunately, it seems like it's just everyday people like us that... It's up to us to do what is lacking, okay? And that is um, coming together as a community, coming together as a people, using what we have, our talents and gifts together. I love on the readings where there's some readers coming together with me, reading with me, um, giving me information as I'm giving them information and giving you guys information. So we're actually working together. That is a beautiful thing. That's exactly where we need to be. All right. Coming together, being active together. One person cannot, uh, make this thing happen. Y'all I could sit and do readings by myself all day and talk to myself. But if there's no interaction, what good is that? Okay? Um, I understand that a lot of you don't know how to do readings or you don't do readings. A lot of you are not able to communicate with spirits. A lot of you couldn't see something if you wanted to see something. And I get it. Um, it is definitely a skill, a gift that people have. Just like some people can cook, some people can dance, some people can write poetry. Okay? And maybe others cannot. It's okay. There's no pressure, no judgment here. But for those who are coming together, uh, working with me on these cases, I think it's absolutely beautiful. And I appreciate you more than you will ever, ever know. Okay? 
with that said, I have a very busy day, y'all. These birthdays, I'm floored. I've been drinking vitamin C packets to stay alive with everyone else, all right? Um, but this whole month is packed with birthdays of people that I love and people that love me. It's packed. And I'm just like, okay, enjoy it while it's here. Whether I feel like I'm drifting away down the sewage pipe, it's okay. I'm just going to get this thing done and get it together, all right? Um, again, I thank you guys for watching. Um, love, love you guys. You know what to do. Like, share, subscribe. Get this out. Get the channel out. Let's get this action going. Um, I appreciate everything, you guys. All right? And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you so much for your support.